hello and welcome back so in this video we're gonna showcase how we're gonna use the animations that come with DAS studio not the ones with Unreal Engines that the original DAS studio animations and how to use them inside of Unreal Engines uh, animation system so let's start so we're gonna create third person call it third does to unveil engine file now the first thing to do is go to plugins does so I mean you have to enable this and then you have to restart to restart here's the way to do the standard animations so as you can see this third person here uh, we're gonna use the DAS animations and export them but first we're gonna go to DAS the first thing we have to keep in mind is we have to go to project settings As I said in uh, previous, as I said previously, uh, those are needed for retargeting. We don't need this if we're gonna import a character without uh, uh, for the purpose of using the animation from DAS. Let's go now. Now we're gonna go to DAS again. This time we're gonna export a character like this. Change it because we already have a character. We can call it anim all right and uh, what you can do is actually like choose morphs here and this will take it for uh, uh, later the project you can where you can uh, this is the main reason i choose uh, using gas because i want to like customize the character so morphs can help a lot and can show you in next videos how to uh, adjust uh, import uh, morphs and use them in unreal engine so we're gonna go accept accept again it's gonna import here now the purpose is not like previously uh, i just forget those errors as you can see control and space go into the content lower i'm not an expert in on the engine i've been using it just a few days so you can see there's another character now so this character now the purpose here is to use the animation from that so we're gonna go back into that and we're gonna export the characters alone so what we're gonna do is like take any blocks those are the animations like use belly dance that's good or maybe this one that seems better apply it to the character like this it's already imported all right that's good now a very good important step that many editors doesn't show you except maybe one i found is to like bake the studio keyframes this is very important and you can see it in the timeline here then now it's time to export to unreal you can choose an animation here leave as is or everything and say accept let's just put this anim as well Accept. you see here it's automatically selected leave as is all the things accept all right finished here go to unveil now you're gonna see there's an animation folder where is it ah that's it that's the one it's a little bit let's see it added it to the original ones for so this is the new one as you can see there's a lot bit of a problem here 
uh, with a face before it didn't happen let's see maybe we can do the check these out if they're We don't need these to be honest. Preview mesh. Ah, oh, can I select the and not the original one? You see why? Because of the rotations. Ah, you see it worked. The reason it was it auto selected the mesh to view. You see it's working correctly, and that's how you import animations from DAS. Uh, the import settings in uh, Unreal Engine project settings is the one that most people get it wrong so now all we have to do is import it like this like add it into our project of course if you want to animate it you have to do like blueprints and stuff uh, I used anim female you just download it all right you can like uh, do it like that so that's good Animations are not activated for it, but for now, you can see it's taking the T pose. But you can add animations using Premiere. We show in. I don't mean creating the animations. I mean like controlling which animation through blueprints. Yeah, so now uh, this is the way to use the DAS animations inside of Unreal Engine. Uh, if you're interested in using the animations that. Uh, comes with uh, Unreal or you can uh, from the marketplace itself I suggest checking previous video it uses the IK method uh, of the targeting and that way you can use the any animation that's been built for Unreal and not necessarily the ones coming from DAS itself uh, thanks for watching the video please don't forget to like and subscribe this will help me do more content in the future as it's a new channel i'll be doing more interesting videos like this and expanding upon the game step by step each video will tackle one topic uh, in the end maybe months or a few years from now i'll have already made the game games are not easy but i suggest uh, you like comment in uh, uh, down in the comment section i'm quick to reply and this is like a collaborative effort so if you find uh, another way of doing stuff uh just uh, post it uh, in the comment section and i'll be glad to uh, check it out or maybe do another video the vision uh, have a nice day and take care